Hello, I'm Stephanie Byrne in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, November 2nd, here's your news in 90. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn is denying claims today that he is a member of the Ku Klux Klan. The loosely affiliated hacker group Anonymous announced over the weekend it had the names of Gwynn and nearly 10 other public officials who the group claims are part of the KKK. The group wants to reveal the identities of KKK members across the country. So far, the group has yet to provide any evidence to back these claims. Gwynn said in a press conference earlier today the allegations are false and he despises what the group stands for. An 18-month-old boy was found dead in a South Florida canal this morning. Weston officials say the child went missing from a relative's apartment Sunday afternoon. Authorities do not know how the boy got out of the apartment. The investigation is still underway. A shark bit a woman in a cocoa beach on Sunday. According to Brevard County Ocean Rescue, the woman was standing in the surf when she was bitten. She suffered a 7-inch gash in the back of her leg. Beachgoers helped bring the woman to shore, and she was taken to a local hospital. Her condition has not yet been released. More Florida theme parks are following the trend of bumping up admission prices. Busch Gardens Tampa and SeaWorld Orlando are increasing ticket prices months after Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando increased their prices. For both Busch Gardens and SeaWorld, adult ticket prices are now $99 and children's tickets are $94, a $2 increase. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.